Yo, what's up, Battletoads? Hope everything's going well. In front of us, we got a dual Petrex engulfing one shard, and uh, yeah, they're this kind of crazy, monstrous, hunter-looking creature, and I think they are quite divine, actually. A very, very cool build. I did some unconventional things with this one, and uh, yeah, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make them, okay? Um, so one of the things that I can mention first, and uh, you know what, let me just, to make her a little bit easier to wield... I'm just going to start pulling off the arms really quick. And I want to tell you a little something about the build. Um, and that it... Okay. And that is that originally I wanted um, this entire section to connect to this using this port. And I wanted that connect to there. And I wanted these to all connect. But I just couldn't negotiate the clearance. It just just wouldn't do it. And so eventually, I had to forego connecting that piece, and I just went with these, and uh, it worked out great. Yeah, it worked out great. It's very, very secure. Nothing's going to fall apart. And um, yeah, I think it's cool. I like the back a lot. I, I really wanted to play with uh, kind of this um, dragon archer with the tail type thing over here. And uh, yeah, I think it came out pretty good. came out pretty good. Uh, really quick, just to focus on some of the bits that we peeled off just a second ago. In this arm over here, sorry, I'm all like swallowing my spit right now just because I had lunch. This arm is the bow, right? And uh, I think it came out pretty good. It can also store in the back uh, as necessary. I really like threading the head through as a spike to kind of connect the arms together to create this. And a lot of times we don't, we don't do much with the tail tips, you know? And so very happy that we're able to make this long bow. And in terms of both of these arms, really what they are is just... <laughs> It's one Paleotrex calf plugged into the claw, and then the, there's another claw plugged in at the thumb. And then this, I make it, I attempt to kind of like wrap it around and stuff. It beefs up the arm a little bit. And I don't know, just visually the motif, I actually like the two arms kind of like holding each other. Um, yeah, homegirl wants to plop down. Just set her like that. And this one over here too, it's the same motif, the arms holding the arms. Uh, but this one, she's holding a bunch of these uh, blades, arrow tips, and spears, uh, because yeah, the imagination. My imagine is basically imagine. My imagination is basically saying that she's going to thread this and then fire this off. Um, and then when we actually connect it to the arm, we're taking this bow with that hole, and we're actually just sticking it into the thumb. I think that worked out great. And then you can just wrap the hands around it, and it looks like she's just holding it. And in terms of what this bow is, is, um, let me get this, let me lock the focus. It is, oh, that's, that's a really tight fit. It's two of the shard arms and the fists are plugged into the thrusters, or excuse me, the fists are plugged into the stalk of the neck, the shoulders are plugged into the thrusters, and then we have the tail bits extending and then big long bow as a, Big long bow with bad focus. There we go. We're gonna set that off to the side as well. Oh, in terms of how it works on the back. You see that right there? That or this, really, you can just kind of plug it in. And uh, I think that stows away quite nicely. And if you don't want to hear it, you could put it here as well. But um, yeah, all sorts of cool. All sorts of cool, my drool. Okay, the shoulders are kind of fun and interesting. Just really kind of utilizing this this um, a different technique to create the hips and the legs uh, forced me to do some interesting things with the shoulders, and I liked it. Uh, I, I like the fact that, um, yeah, I, I just enjoyed building differently. Um, it's like learning to cook differently, you know? You, you, you kind of uh, step away from some of your comforts and your norms and your safeties, but um, but you learn new things as a result. So... This over here, this is just one shard leg plugged into the Paleotrex calf, and that is going to become your entire leg. Um, you can reverse this if you want, and then you'll end up getting different, um, uh, what is it, range of motion and stuff. But uh, in essence, yeah, one Petrex calf and one shard calf plugged in together. Create the leg, and that will plug in right there, but we'll get to that later. This entire bit over here, um, here, you know what? 
Let me actually just remove this entire half. So you can just layer this entire thing onto there. So we have the axe, we have the tail, the frilled part of the tail, and that is going to plug in right here. And then at the top of that tail bit, we have the thighs, right? The hips and the thighs. And uh, that's it. And then this is going, this is going to be the shoulder actually. And this is just uh, aesthetics. It doesn't really do anything. And um, that's going to just plug in all right there. This is going to plug into the side of the head. And that is going to also plug into the side of the head. Uh, so it's, yeah, in, in practice, it's not a very difficult build. And you can see the cross section over here. It's actually quite nice to look at because um, everything you just, it, it just looks like it's, you know, like slotting into place. And I like that a lot. So up at the top, it's just the Petrex dino head, the buckler, and then we have the screaming face over here. And then going down, we have the other Petrex dino uh, body, and then we have the buckler right over there, right? And so we're going to get this. We're going to plug it in there. We're going to bring this up. Then we're going to plug that bit into there. And then kind of push this back as far as you can against this uh, plate. And then this bit we are going to plug into the dino face. And the look that I wanted to, to give him was as if he was wearing some type of like mantle, some type of animal cowl or like, you know, um, what do you call it? There's a shoulder, a shawl or something like that. You know what I mean? Like an animal pelt. And uh, yeah, and so if you wanted to give him like, forward mobility, you could do this and then he would go forward. And maybe ultimately this is actually a better look because now you can bend, then you can do side to side as well. But I don't know, visually, I think this, this just looks better. So let's just go back to that. And if we need to take pictures or something, then fine but even in this particular yeah motif this connection you can do this and then you can do that you can also bend this in so that he can like cross his, she can cross <laughs> their legs and stuff so i don't know um i think it's an interesting level of uh, posability yeah it's different but it's cool and uh don't be worried if don't be concerned if this doesn't like plug all the way in there um it's completely fine but yeah she's she's a bit wide that's fine too. Who doesn't like a wide gal? Yeah, I was gonna say all my life. I mentioned this before. I mentioned this to my wife, and she's like cracking up. Yo, the big girls, dude. Um, the the home girls with the big bones, and just yeah, the non scrawny girls. They've always had something for your boy, dude. <laughs> I've always been popular, <laughs> like. With like, dude, when I roll through to like Samoan gatherings and stuff, dude, <laughs> I do quite well. I do quite well with uh, Polynesian ladies. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is. But it's always been like that. <laughs> it's always been like that. Anyway, all right, cool. Cool, there we go. There we go. There we have her. Single shard adorned by two Paleotrexes, and you can build this at home. I hope the instructions weren't too cumbersome, and I hope you have been okay with me just kind of yammering and blabbering some random stuff. I'm always trying to create a welcoming, approachable, warm space for you all, and the vibe is supposed to be that it's like we're just kind of kicking in the living room, and then I'm just mouthing off, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, thanks for watching. I will catch you all another time. Bye.